I had gone to a high school that was incredibly uh, arts-based in uh, the suburbs of Detroit. And uh, I was very lucky to be uh, exposed at an early age, not just through my mother, who was a part-time art dealer, but also at my school. Uh, when I was a, a junior in high school, I went to Holland as an exchange student for four months in the summer and uh, lived in the museums. I just, I couldn't get enough. They, they had such amazing Dutch masters, and I really think I was affected by seeing uh, Vermeer's light and Rembrandt's light, um, certainly unconsciously. I am a firm believer in coming up through the ranks. I really liked that I started at the bottom. I saw how, the right way to do things. <clears throat> I worked on features, commercials, which had so much money, and so I, I learned the right way to do things. Lighting just seemed to be where it was at for me. Um, I'm not the most technical person. I learn what I need to learn. The same thing with electricity. I learned what I needed to learn, and I don't try to apply those skills when I don't have to, like I won't wire my house. Um, and with lighting, it was just, I saw in light. I walk into a room, and I just see light. And it was just a very natural progression from being an electrician up to being a gaffer, and uh, I just loved it. I have a seed uh, on some of the early documentaries I used to go on. I had to do both. So I can do it, uh, but I have no desire to take apart a camera, and I would hire good people. I want to work on good stories with great people, and I probably could have done bigger movies. In fact, I've turned them down for better stories. The older I get, it's more important, as long as I can pay the rent, to find material that really touches me.